Hey, speaking of Christmas, you know, it is just nine days away. But as we count down to the holiday, we of course want to make sure that all the kiddos have things to open underneath the tree. WCNC Charlotte hoping to make a difference here and we hope that y'all will help us with this. We are joined now with WCNC Charlotte's Brittany Van Voor. He's live for us at the Salvation Army in Pineville. We're actually seeing those gifts in bags behind you and this is like a, a drive through donation uh, situation that you're following. So how's it been going? Vanessa, it's been great. They actually just wrapped up day one of those families coming to collect the toys. And there are two more days, Friday and then on Monday. But you can see all the bags behind me, all to the side, all across the room. Estimates probably about 1,500 bags still here for families to pick up over those two days, Friday and Monday here from the Salvation Army Christmas Center. And you are correct, it is a drive through this year. Of course, they're trying to stay very COVID conscious. And although there's still about 1,500 toys to be picked up by these families, uh, you can still make a difference. There is not going to be much more time to do so, but you can still make a difference for kids here in our community. So WCNC's Magical Toy Drive is in its final hours. You can actually still bring a toy to any Belk or Original Mattress Factory here in the Charlotte area through tomorrow. You can also make a monetary donation at WCNC.com slash toy. So very excited to do that here. And the Salvation Army did kick off this first annual or this Christmas toy distribution this morning for more than 2,500 families across the area. More than 6,500 children are expected to get gifts along with grocery gift cards. Major Tom Mason with the Salvation Army says that their goal is just to bring each child a Christmas experience they'll never forget, serving about 50 families every 15 minutes. For each gift we receive, we know that those are, are stamped with a heart of compassion from the donor. We know that each recipient is so thankful for, for what they receive. And again, if you want to contribute, there is still time. From now through tomorrow, you can head over to any Belk area here in the Charlotte region, Original Mattress Factory, and drop off those new unwrapped toys, or you can give at wcnc.com slash toys, and that link will actually be up until the end of the year. So plenty of time to do so. I encourage everyone to get out and give this holiday season. For now, we're live here at the Salvation Army Christmas Center here in Pineville at the Carolina Place Mall. I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees. And yeah, Brittany, we know the generosity is out there because we saw it. We saw it on that special donation day that we had out outside the uh, Belk there at the Carolina Place Mall. That was fantastic seeing all those folks come out. <laughs> all right, thanks so much, Brittany.